Now 
over the next three years, I want to get half a million solar water heating panels onto New Zealand homes. I want to shift some resources out of more and more new motorways, white elephants, into good public transport in all of our cities. I want to stop the slaughter of the albatrosses and the hectares dolphins in the fishing industry. And I want to take real action to clean up our waterways so that New Zealand kids can swim in them again. The Green Party will introduce a universal child benefit, raise the minimum wage to $12 an hour, make the first $5,000 of income tax free, put more resources into ensuring people's homes are insulated so that they're warm and dry, and increase the rate of building state houses and resourcing for community-based housing initiatives. Over the next three years, I'd like to see my flexible working hours bill passed. I'd like to see proper GE labelling of all food, only healthy food sold in schools, a ban on sour crates and battery hen cages, and New Zealand control of our dietary supplements. It's good to stand up to America and defend our nuclear free status, but we also have to stand up to their pressures to bring in legislation that undermines our human rights or just do their bidding because we want a free trade agreement. We have to be an independent, nuclear free peacemaker that promotes human rights throughout the world. Over the next three years, I aim to pass my cannabis infringement bill, see the establishment of an independent judicial appointments commission, and I want to climb the student debt mountain and knock the bastard off. Sixty percent of the food on our supermarket shelves is imported. In a food producing nation, that is a nonsense and we deserve better. We deserve it without the processing, without the packaging, without the additives or the pesticides. We deserve it organic, fresh, local and in season. It's as cheap as it gets and it's better for you. And it keeps the people that grow food in our country in work and in valued. Environmental education is another really big issue for all our schools and our kids, but our teachers need to be properly educated and resourced to be able to provide that kind of information. And of course, the real is absolutely critical to our development as a nation, but our teachers need to be supported to learn te reo and to be able to speak and conduct the education in their classrooms in the real confidently so that all of our kids have access to it.